Hello YouTube, hola YouTube. Today we are recapping what's happening in the gaming space. Gaming weekly gaming news update, go. Blah, 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 blah. Insert music here. Blah, blah, blah. So on today's weekly or, or this week's weekly news chat, we have new TFD emote, the first descendant emote coming. So log in, make sure you are logged in this weekend to receive your new emote, your Halloween free emote in the mailbox. Um, the first descendant developers, Magnum Studio slash Nexon have been doing a really good job at giving people free cosmetics in the game. Um, it's the beginning they could do a bit better um, at giving more free stuff so let's keep our fingers crossed that in the future they implement some more free grindable cosmetics emotes attachments um spawns etc etc but this weekend we get a new emote when you log in um tnl ban wave just happened throne and liberty has been in and in, then dated in in doing dated flooded with bots recently it has an all-time peak of 300,000 players and it's just down to like 200 average players logged in at a peak hours and not all 200 of those are actual players so they have announced that they will be doing their first bot ban wave and let's see how further down this game um reaches now that the bots are going to be gone there ha it, 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 just put it quite simply you'll never be able to get rid of bots in a free to play game that you just download it's easy for a bot to get into there in that game especially a game that has a lot of rmt um embedded in it with its loosened its currency system you're never going to get rid of bots that way but you know let's at least they've learned from their past mistakes with lost ark with their bots and maybe they'll continue to give us more of these bot ban waves and this is a good thing this is a w uh it's it's not even a month old and they have already doing bot ban waves so this is a good thing for them hopefully um people who are still enjoying the game uh, get to enjoy it even better with their market not being skewed by bots new world expansion speaking of amazon amazon the creators of a new world just put out a new um expansion relaunch this is a relaunch for consoles but they also have a direct x12 support they're previewing it on steam and other little things that they've added so you can see it as a, a as a fresh start um for people that never got to play it or people that want to play it again um in I don't know and experience some of the new things that they've added and some of the new way they present the story um i myself have been trying it out and i'm going to be putting out my first impression review so far i have about five hours in the game so it's not good enough to give you my um, whole impression but so far i'm not minding it it's actually i'm having a lot of, a little bit of fun but we'll save that for the better um for the bigger review first impression review concord possibly making a return say it isn't so chad apparently rumor mill has it that concord is resurfacing on steam it's going to get a, a steam uh, update question mark i'm not sure i've i've quickly glanced over a couple of twitter posts that are suggesting that concord is resurfacing uh, you know what i'm gonna be honest if concord comes back as a free to play game on steam i'm downloading it i'm gonna play it i'm gonna test it out because to me ultimately i like to try out games and if they feel good I, I don't know it might be a good game i don't know chat we'll see we'll see how it is um as a free-to-play game I, I would give it a shot oh and guess who's in the news now pokemon but not with some pal world suing news um this time pokemon is making uh, a little bit of waves on the internet because they recently received a, a breach um they've been hacked game freak has been hacked and according um to the things that i've read online um the hack was a, a pretty massive they've um uncovered some uh, interesting stuff and in those stuff that is included um apparently there has been lore that has been written about humans 
having um, a sexual intercourse with Pokemon. Apparently, this is part of their lore. At some point, they they had this in the back, and it's resurfacing now because of these hacks. So, I don't know. I don't know what's really going on over there in the Pokemon spaces, but apparently there was some lore that involved the humans in Pokemon. Uh, it's kind of crazy if you ask me. Uh, Activision and Blizzard lawsuit. Apparently there's something going on there. W when is Blizzard not involved in a lawsuit? It's like every week there's a new lawsuit for Blizzard. I don't even know what this one is about, but there's apparently a new Blizzard Activision lawsuit um, happening. I think they settled. As a matter of fact, I, I think there was some settle that went down. They paid a couple of million bucks, but yeah. Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero sells 3 million copies. And after announcing the 3 million copies that they did sell, they have also been laying off staff. Bandai Namco has been laying off staff, which is no surprise, to be honest with you. A lot of these companies, uh, developers, have been laying, doing a lot of layoffs. It just turns out that you don't need that many people. Maybe it's because of overhire from the COVID days, and they're finally trying to get back down. I don't know what is going on there, but um, another company doing more layoffs. Um, also, did we see what Overwatch just did? Apparently, this has been getting some traction on the interwebs. Um, Overwatch 2 um, is releasing their latest season, and on one of their um, ads or um, previews, they are basically showing you feet. Any fe feet fetish people out there? I mean, they've just been showing you feet. Um... I don't know. And that is all for my video gaming news. Um, check back next week for more video game news. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.